Lyme disease is a quiet epidemic that is sweeping through North America, affecting a lot of people, but we don't often talk about it. The interesting thing about what we see happening is that there's very different reactions. You have people that are mild in nature in terms of their expression of the disease. There's some people that are in bed for a month and there's some people for whom it just doesn't seem to go away. And why is there this big difference? This again comes back to your genetic ability to cope with the bacteria that has now been put into your body. The reactions, those symptoms, the things that make you feel sick are exaggerated if you don't have the genetic ability to cope with what's going on. This is your methylation system, that anti-inflammatory response that's fighting back to what's going on inside. And now this is true for many diseases and many viral infections and bacterial infections. The degree to which you express the symptoms has to do with your system's ability to cope. How do you understand your systems? They're already genetically predefined. You can determine how you cope with these things by understanding to what degree do your systems fight back. So once you get there, you now know what system needs to be supported. So if God forbid you get hit by something like Lyme or a bacterial or viral infection, you know what system may potentially need support, which means what should I be eating now? What should I be supplementing now? What lifestyle, environment, nutrition changes should I be implementing before getting hit with this thing so I come out of it with a better outcome?